everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to cover your MLB The Show 21 Frequently Asked Questions. So the inspiration for this video uh, actually came from uh, the fact that I'm a part of a MLB The Show 21 Facebook group. And I have seen a lot of posts recently, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, discussion, discourse, and confusion around the cross-progression and cross-platform uh, play and how that's going to work out uh, on MLB The Show 21. Of course, with this being the first installment of the Sony San Diego uh, The Show franchise coming out on both uh, PlayStation and Xbox, there's been probably a lot of you guys, a lot of you Xbox players, wondering exactly how this is all going to go down. But before I get into this video, guys, I need you all to sub down below. I can tell in my channel analytics that nearly 95% of my viewers aren't subscribed to the channel. If you don't believe me, I'm going to have a screenshot of that analytics page up right now. So I would greatly appreciate your support. And also, I will be doing a giveaway. I am giving away a blue DualShock 4 controller. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on that, I'll leave a card up, up here on the top uh, for you all to check out. You can check out that video, but I will be doing a giveaway once the channel hits 100 subs. So hey guys, I just want to give you guys a quick update as I am editing this video. So this actually is a little bit in the future. The channel actually has over 100 subs, so we did reach my 100 sub goal by the end of the month. We have already surpassed it, so thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it, but uh, I'm just here to tell you guys that once this video goes live, expect um, another upload within 24 hours explaining how to enter the giveaway for the DualShock 4 controller and uh, all the details. So stay tuned on that, and I really appreciate your guys' support. Uh, keep subbing, keep liking my videos, and I'll keep pumping out content for you all. All right. Back to the video. All right, so here we are on the Show Nation uh, FAQ page. So these are all questions related to uh, the MLB sh The Show 21 release. I will leave the link to this page down in the video description below. It will be the first link down below. The link will be blue. It'll stand out. So if you are interested and want to check out the information for yourself, double check things. Always do your own research. Uh, in the video description below, you will have this link and you may do that. Okay, so here we go. Again, these are all related to MLB The Show 21 release, and I've seen a lot of confusion around year-to-year -year saves, cross-progression, cross-platform, uh, pre-order bonus questions. So I'm hoping that this forum page, this FAQ page, will solve a lot of those problems. We are going to go question by question verbatim uh, if there's anything on here that i feel is a little bit vague then i'll add some details if i have them uh, and then i guess you'll have to take my word for it <laughs> here we go so uh saving on mlb the show 21 so here we are underneath the section saves will mlb the show 21 have year to year saves no year to year saves will not be supported in mlb the show 21 we do not have anything to share about the feature's future, but we're aware of its popularity in the community. So, year to year saves, it, the likelihood of... The reason that this probably isn't supported on MLB The Show 21 is because of the cross-progression and the cross-platform. And it's the first year that the game... Remember, guys, it's the first year that the game's been provided and released on Xbox... So if you have year-to-year -year saves and people bringing over files, obviously from PlayStation, because it would have to be, because that's the only platform the game's been on for the past, you know, couple, at least sev several years, uh, those files are going to be coming from the Sony side of things. So trying to probably transfer those over to uh, an Xbox console is not going to be... Uh, you're obviously going to have compatibility issues there. So that's probably why year-to-year -year saves aren't going to be supported in MLB The Show 21. So what does that mean? Yes, you're going to be starting over from zero 
in all categories, franchise, road to the show, none of that's going to carry over. Everybody is going to be starting from zero this year. Will cross saves be part of MLB The Show 21? Yes, saves between platforms will be part of MLB The Show 21. We will be sharing more details on how to enable cross saves prior to launch. So, year to year saves. What year to y- the the difference, guys? The first question. Back to year to year saves. Year to year saves is bringing a file from a previous game. So MLB The Show 20, 19, 18, 17, so on and so forth. Bringing a file from an old title to the current title. That's not supported. Cross saves on MLB The Show 21 only. So any file that it is coming from MLB The Show 21, that's the origin of it, can be swapped between platforms. What does that mean? I can play on my PS5 right over here and say my friend has a Xbox Series X. I can then go over to that individual's house and I'm going to assume again they're going to they're going to provide more details as it states here, but I'm going to assume that it's going to be tied to probably your uh you know MLB the show nation um like you know username or your PSN account it, it's going to be tied into all that in some form or fashion but uh I'll give you guys you know I'll update you all probably there there will be another video I'll be covering MLB the show 21 all the way up to release so this is something that we're we're obviously going to have to revisit to get all the all the details from the developers. Upgrade paths. So this is all about pre-order bonuses and the different versions of the game that you can pre-order. Let's get into it. If I buy a current gen standard edition of MLB The Show 21, is there an upgrade path to the next gen version? No, there isn't. No. However, if you purchase any collector's edition of MLB The Show 21, you will receive both the current and next gen versions of the game. So what does this mean? Only buy, guys, only buy the current gen standard edition of the game if you have a PS4 or an Xbox One X and you will not be upgrading. That simple. If you are upgrading to a PS5 or an Xbox Series X or an Xbox Series S, do not, I repeat, do not purchase the current gen standard edition of the game. It will be a waste of money because, it, guys, it would just be a waste of money. I don't want to confuse you any further. If you're going to upgrade, don't buy the current gen standard edition of the game. Pay roughly $15 to $20 more for any one of the versions of the game with Jackie Robinson on the cover. If Jackie Robinson is on the cover of your game, you're getting both current and next gen versions so you'll be fully covered so just spend 15 to 20 dollars extra because if you don't you're gonna pay much more later for the mistake that you made that simple next question does the next gen version include the current gen version as well users who wish to have access to both current and next gen versions of this year's game should purchase a collector's edition of MLB The Show 21. You guys are going to realize very quickly that a lot of these questions are revolved around current and next-gen confusion. The only way you guys are getting both current and next-gen versions of MLB The Show 21 is if you purchase one of the versions of the game with Jackie Robinson on the cover. You're going to hear me state that over and over and over again with probably these next three questions. They're all revolved around the same thing. If you have Jackie Robinson on the cover of your game, you're getting both current and next-gen versions of the game. If you get a version of the game with Fernando Tatis on the cover and you plan to upgrade, it's a mistake. That simple. If you plan to upgrade, do not purchase the versions of the game with Fernando Tatis on the cover. That simple. Again, I'll say it. I'm sorry. I'm just restating things. That's probably boring at this point. You probably already clicked off the video. If you plan to upgrade, only buy one of the three versions of MLB The Show 21 with Jackie Robinson on the cover of the game. Okay. 
Next question. Will the collector's edition include an upgrade? This is what the collector's edition includes, guys. Um, again, I'm restating things. Collector's editions will include access to both current and next-gen versions of the game. If you purchase a digital collector's edition, you'll receive entitlements for both current and next-gen systems. If you purchase a physical collector's edition, you will receive a current-gen disc and a next-gen digital entitlement. Again, what does this mean? If you plan to upgrade, purchase one of the versions with Jackie Robinson on the cover. Okay, I've probably said it enough by now. Next question. I own a next-gen system. This could be a PlayStation 5, this could be an Xbox Series X, or it could even be an Xbox Series S. Can I buy a collector's edition? All of MLB The Show 21's collector's editions come with dual entitlement and come with access to both current and next-gen versions of the game. I don't know how many times I've said this. Do the Jackie Robinson editions for Xbox come with a voucher code for dual entitlement? So this, the reason that this question's in here actually um, this is actually a damn good question to be thrown in here because Sony San Diego and Sony in general, uh, they didn't address this in the marketing. They didn't address this in any of the promos for the game. You know, the Fernando Tatis uh, cover athlete release and all that. None of this. Almost all of the promotions for the game, at least to this point early on, and I'm recording this video as of February the 7th, um, Super Bowl Sunday. They didn't, they really didn't include the Xbox uh, version of the game in any of the promotions. It was all basically PlayStation covers, which, you know, they're probably more comfortable with that. And, and it's what a lot of the market already knows because the, it's been the main platform for a while, guys. So it, it makes sense, right? But they didn't, it, the reason that this is a good question is because they didn't provide much context. You know when there was uh you know initial release and cover athlete information so the answer to this is no one disc is going to work for both current and next gen xbox consoles so if you're an xbox user so it, if you if you have a playstation 5 this doesn't apply to you only xbox users here if you're an xbox user you purchase one of the three versions of jackie robinson on the cover when you get that game it is going to have one disc inside of it, and it isn't going to matter if you have an Xbox One X or if you have an Xbox Series X or an Xbox Series S. That physical round disc that you get, I wish I had one. Here, let's just use here. Let's just use Spider-Man Miles Morales as an example. This is MLB The Show 21 in some magical world. You receive this. You open it up. You have one disc. This says MLB The Show 21 on it in a in a magical world. That one disc is going to work on your Xbox One X or your Xbox Series X or Series S. It, it's not going to matter. You can throw that disc into any one of those three consoles and it's going to take it. So I hope that that provides some, some clarification for your Xbox users out there. If you have any questions on this, then leave them down in the comment section below because... It is very confusing, and I can definitely understand the confusion. Uh, there, Again, there wasn't a whole lot of clarification on this when Sony San Diego came out with a lot of the promotions around the game. So if you are still confused, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to your questions, and I'll try to answer each and every single one of your guys' questions. And I do really appreciate uh, the Xbox users out there. I really do. Um, it's going to be a good thing for the game because it's going to, it's just going to broaden the, the community, um, you know, all the gamers around this, around this particular game. It's just going to expand the family of MLB, the, it, just baseball lovers in general. It's going to expand that family. So, um, please, if you're an Xbox user, you are absolutely welcome to this channel. I understand I own a PlayStation 5. I've been a PlayStation gamer for uh, several years now, but if you are an Xbox user, you're absolutely welcome to the channel and leave any questions you have down below. I would be more than happy to answer them. So here's some of the general questions. This is the last, uh, I guess, subsection of the FAQ page. After we get done with these questions, I'll close out the video. So uh, here we go. How many platforms is MLB The Show 21 available on? Again, uh, I've reinstated this several times. 
Here we go. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PlayStation 5. So, current and next-gen consoles, essentially, is the short answer to that. Is cross-platform play available on all platforms? PlayStation 4 to Xbox Series X, vice versa, PlayStation 5 to Xbox One X, etc. If I'm playing, can I jump? Can I take a file from my PS5 and go over to my friend's house, and if he has an Xbox One X and hasn't upgraded to next-gen hardware, will there be issues with that? Here's the answer to, the, to that question. There, there's not going to be issues, and here's the answer. Online cross-play is available across platforms. So PlayStation 5 to Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4 to Xbox One, as well as within console ecosystems. So ecosystems meaning Sony consoles to Sony consoles, Microsoft consoles to Microsoft consoles. So I'm not even going to finish what Sony San Diego has posted here, but basically what this means is as long as your file is an MLB The Show 21 file, as long as it's not from an older version of the game, which would be The Show 20, 19, 18, 17, etc., as long as it is a file that says MLB The Show 21, you're going to be able to move it all around every, every single platform that this game is available on. So PS4, PS5, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, it's not going to matter. You can swap that file from whichever which way that you want. You can drag it all as much as you want and continue to play on any any one of these technically, what, five different consoles. So that's really cool. Um, it's the first time that it's really... It's the first time this has ever been offered, guys. So um, feel special, Xbox Xbox users. You are special. Next question, can I use stubs purchased on Xbox on PlayStation or vice versa? So if you're new to the game, what are stubs? Stubs are in-game currency. You can use them to purchase cards on the community marketplace. It's it's the in-game currency that keeps MLB The Show running, basically. It keeps the community running. There's a community market on the game. You can use them to purchase cards. You can sell cards. You will then receive stubs back if you are selling cards. So it's the in-game currency. You buy cards players a lot of mostly stubs are used in diamond dynasty which stay tuned to the channel i'll have additional videos and content all these questions will eventually be answered guys um but stubs are in-game currency so no purchase stubs can only be used on the platform they were purchased on so if you purchase them if i purchase them on my playstation 5 i can only use them on playstation consoles i can't Stubs can't transfer over to an Xbox. If you bought them on Xbox, they can't transfer over to PlayStation. That's simple. Uh, stubs earned through gameplay, however, are available to be used on any platform. So bought stubs won't transfer any stubs. You can't... So guys, anybody who's new, I know this is probably getting very confusing. Any stubs that you earn through gameplay, they will transfer from PlayStation to Xbox. So just as you play the game... And once you get the game, this will make a lot more a lot more sense to you all. But you earn stubs just by playing the game. So just playing like a pickup game, you you could earn a hundred stubs, and that stuff will transfer between consoles. You can also go on to the PlayStation Store or Microsoft Store and actually buy stubs from those online stores. Anything that you buy outright, that's not gonna. The Microsoft Store doesn't like the PlayStation Store, and the PlayStation Store doesn't like the Microsoft Store. That's basically the end-all be-all to that question. Can I play against users on, diff on different consoles? Yes, you can play against uh, other players who are on different consoles, including all console generations. An active PlayStation Plus subscription is required for online multiplayer on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. You're also going to need an active Xbox Live Gold subscription to be able to play online multiplayer on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. So, long story short, yes, you'll be able to play... If you're on PlayStation, you'll be able to play people online that are playing on Xbox. If you're on Xbox, vice versa, you'll be able to play people that are on PlayStation. You just need a um, either an Xbox Live subscription or you're going to need a PSN subscription. You can't play for free online. Sorry, that's not a thing. For the physical Jackie Robinson Edition and physical Jackie Robinson Deluxe Edition, will the PlayStation 4 disc need to be inserted into my PlayStation 5 to play the game? So, people are asking this. Uh, it's kind of been 
question. Some games, whenever they're coming out for current and then next-gen consoles, sometimes you actually have to have the disc inserted into your next-gen console for the game to actually function. And so basically what Sony San Diego is saying here is, yes, after you redeem the voucher code for the PlayStation 5 version, the PlayStation 4 disc is still required to be inserted when playing the PS5 version of MLB The Show 21. So once I get my Jackie Robinson edition of the game, again, I'm going to use the Spider-Man Miles Morales as an example. I'll get this and... The actual physical disc, this will need to be in my PS5. So the actual disc, imagine this says MLB The Show 21 on it. This disc will actually need to be in my PS5, as well as I'll need to redeem my digital promo code on here. I'll need to, you know, put that in and redeem that in the PlayStation Store for the game to actually function on my PS5 console. I don't know why that is. It probably has something to do with the console pulling data and things from the actual disc. Um, I don't know why. I don't know enough about tech to be able to answer that question any further. If I upgrade from current gen to next gen, does my progress transfer? Your online diamond dynasty and inventory and progression will transfer automatically. So that's a big sigh of relief for a lot of players because there's a lot of diamond dynasty players uh on this game always is it's the it's the easily the biggest game mode on this game by far for xbox users that are wondering what in the world is diamond dynasty i'll eventually get to that on the channel uh if you really want to know more information i would highly highly suggest that you join the mlb the show 21 facebook group that i'm in you'll learn a lot from that group um i'll go ahead and have a screenshot right now playing over the video and I'll try and, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'll try in some fashion to link the Facebook group in the video description down below if you're interested in joining that MLB The Show 21 Facebook group that I'm in. So long story short, yes, your DD uh, progression is going to transfer from current to next gen, no problem. All right, y'all, that was a really long-winded video. This took a lot more time than I was expecting. Um, I, don't know, I guess there is a lot of questions <laughs> revolved around the game. Uh, there's still going to be a lot of confusion, so again, even after this video, if you're confused, leave your questions down below in the comment section. I will try to get to each and every single one of you, and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, that'll be it. Again, leave your questions if you have them, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Tabor time out. Peace. And subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. All right, bye-bye.